guys, welcome back. Glass Moon Gaming, another music reaction for you. Thanks for coming back for our second reaction today. Um, we're continuing with my little theme of before they were in Love Bites. Um, if you missed our earlier reaction, we watched Miyako in the band 21 Grams once again, and it was great. Um, go check it out. You'll love it. Um, fantastic song. Really interesting things happened in there musically, at least interesting to me. Uh, this time we're watching another early Asami video. Last week, we watched a video from the same performance we're checking out today. And you guys told me that if I enjoyed that one and I enjoyed her vocals in that, then I had to check out her Alicia Keys cover of If I Ain't Got You from that same performance. It looks to be the same performance anyway. So that's what we're hoping. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. So let's just go check it out. Make sure you guys check out our Buy Me A Coffee page. It's like Patreon, but with more options. And that's where you'll find original videos for anything that ended up blocked or edited for YouTube. It's also where you guys can make requests and watch any concert streams that you may have missed live on Twitch. Link is in the description with all the details. Finally, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave your suggestions in the comments below. You guys know how this works. We're on our way to 5,000, surpassed 4,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. Let's keep going. Um, let's get to the video. Link to the original will be in the description below. All right, here we go. Before she gets into the main part, it's obvious by now you should have figured that if I didn't watch the original, I know the song. Um, Alicia Keys was a huge in the 90s and even into the early 2000s, I believe. This is a very popular song from back then. Um, I stopped at exactly where I stopped it because I know what's going to be coming up and I really want to. I really want to emphasize that. Uh, this is R&B to its finest. Uh, so let's see what Asami does with it. Can't wait. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Nice range here. Oh, 
Uh, very nice runs. Um, this is the kind of stuff I wanted to hear from Asami with her early stuff. I want to hear these R&B runs. Uh, I really like that one. One thing that this does show off, it shows off she even has, she has that nice uh, foundational low vocal register and then she still goes up there between, you know, whether it's chest voice or head voice or a mix in there somewhere. Um, I'm not a singer, so you guys can tell me uh or even a little falsetto but uh yeah i mean it's really good she's got control the whole way up there and though that run i'm hoping there's more <laughs> we'll see what there is Very nice. All right, let's talk. One thing, uh, a couple things here that just came to my head. Uh, number one is it's hard to imagine that back when this was recorded that you could even, even fathom her being in the uh, power metal band that she is today and being a princess of that uh, if not a goddess of that um, but yeah it's insane uh such different vocals but also very similar vocals if you know what i mean uh it all comes from the same structure and the same roots but now it just has this power behind it and amazing amazing band and it's great to see where they came from the second thing that i thought of immediately here is since this is uh, so far before uh, Love Bites, someone recorded this back then and kept it. Uh, and that kind of stuff always makes me wonder, like, what made them, A, keep it this long, keep this video of this? They had to be a fan of Asami even back then to keep the recording here. It's obviously, you could tell it's like a fan video. But that's just, that's an interesting thing that I always when you go back and look at old, old performances, uh, that someone, someone kept this. And then when love bites hit it big, now they can, I, I won't say profit off of it, but the same, the same aspect is there. It's not, now it becomes hugely relevant because they've become this totally different band and any reactor who is worth their salt and love bites would want to know where Asami came from. So these are kind of these are these should be gems that people should be reacting to. Um, if you're gonna look at Asami now in Love Bites, you should look, always look to see where they came from. That's why I love doing these uh, these little things of before they were in the band. So yeah, awesome. Uh, that was this one. Don't forget, I also stream uh, on Twitch. Um, if you enjoy concert streams and just hanging out and playing games and stuff. You know, stop on over at Twitch uh, and, you know, if I'm online and, you know, log in and uh, we can have a chat, we can talk. We listen to music a lot of times while I'm playing games or we do live streams every other Saturday. So if you are interested, the link is in the description below for all my social media, including Twitch. Um, Alti Energy, uh, alternative energy drink. It's a great alternative for different uh, from different. Other ones, uh, zero sugar, low calories, all natural caffeine without the crash. Some amazing flavors. Um, if it's something you're interested in, check out the link in the description and use discount code GLASSMOON. And you'll get 10% off your order. Um, link is in the description below. Don't forget, vote in our Fan Choice Friday poll, where you guys tell me what to react to every single Friday. Very simple. 
Go to the community tab, find the poll, vote for the band. Whoever wins, that's who I react to, guaranteed. Can't be any easier for you guys. You guys just have to pick who you want me to react to, and then I have to do all the work. I have to actually react to it. Um, so yeah, just go and vote. With that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll catch you all next time.